police know much more than they did last Friday when several young people ended up shot during a fight down the street from the Doan Community School on East McMillan. Half brothers, 20 year old Maniko Hicks and 18 year old Danielle Walker are charged with killing 14 year old Jayshawn Martin. The investigation now shows he was not a random victim caught on the crossfire. Local 12 News reporter Deborah Dixon shows us the motive behind the violent chaos in the middle of the day. Robin Kitt, it was about a fight, a fight at the school the day before that was going to start up again on Friday, but it didn't have to be a fight to the death. A school fight that started Thursday spilled into the streets again on Friday, spilling blood at the corner of Essex Place and Taft. Investigators now say that fight, that's why the half brothers were in the neighborhood. Uh, the two brothers uh, who we have uh, we have identified as a shooting in this incident have siblings that were involved in those fights at the school. When the bullets stopped flying, four young people were wounded. 14-year-old Jashawn Martin died from a bullet to the neck. Information that we have for, from witnesses is that he was engaged in a fight uh, at the school and was not, he was, he was part of the altercation that led ultimately to the shooting. Police may have prevented more violence when officers stopped a man with a gun on Reading Road headed to the shooting scene. You know, we, we don't know if he was on his way to be in the initial encounter or avenge something that may have happened earlier and, you know, when, with the shooting. So, yeah, it could have been a lot worse. A 15-year-old wounded in the shooting was charged with aggravated rioting after a fight at the Evanston Recreation Center earlier this month. This security video from the parking lot shows some young people weren't very happy when told to leave. Police say even though that 15 year old was at both places, the two incidents are not connected. Quite a few who are members of the community finna here, and it's not even in the neighborhood, but they come here because they feel, you know, comfortable here. And then everybody comes here. It's a gathering point. And every now and then you're gonna get that element you know, that is gonna follow the crowd. That's what happened March 5th. That's what happened March 5th. So this is the third 14-year-old murdered in Cincinnati in five months. It's incredible, isn't it? If you, the uh, average murder victim is 27 years old, but this could change that. Everyone is really on edge about these young, young boys, yeah. and that's what they are, ending up dead in the streets. It used to be that the kids would fight after school for similar reasons, but it would be a fist fight, somebody get their nose bloodied, that'd be the end like of it. Like you did. Yes, exactly, that's what I was yeah. thinking about. Yeah. But now they bring guns. Right, right. Well, they, they, in some of these neighborhoods, these kids, their source of self-esteem, sometimes the only source yeah. is street cred, and you sometimes get that by carrying a gun or how much violence you're connected to that gives them power and that's why it's so hard to stop and so what about revenge further yeah further they're, revenge. They're, they're, police looking yeah, for that they, I they are worried about that and they are doing a lot of research they have these analysts who are their friends where are they from where could the, the violence spill into yeah. so yeah they're trying to stay ahead of it Deb, thanks very much okay. the 14 year old uh, killed on friday did attend Doan community high school